Well, it looks like it's that time of day. Time for the cows to come home. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by. So I have left the campsite that overlooked the lake. Yeah, I had to because I had no cell service there to upload the video. So I came back down here toward Munns Park. I've been here many times. I'm just going to be here for the night and then go find a more secluded site. This is just right off the interstate. Look at this one. I don't think she likes me. So it's usually around 3 or 4 o'clock. The cows start moseying through. They're looking for greener pastures. And probably looking for shade too. It's about 95 degrees. It's been a hot one. <laughs> Look at, yeah, this one here has got eyes all over me. The others do not seem to mind, but this one. Yeah, this one does not trust Maddie. I may need to watch this one. I took a bike ride early this morning, but I had to come back. It was just too hot. So I've just been relaxing. I've got a spray bottle of water. I've been spraying on my head and my face and my neck and around like the collar of my shirt to keep my shirt damp. And that really helps. It's been a little bit of breeze today, so it's not as bad as it has been for the last week. I was checking the forecast and it looks like the temperatures are going to tick down a little bit. Still going to stay above 90 for another week. But I think if I can just make it through July, everything will get better then. Or at least that's what I'm hoping. So I found out what my bug bites were. I was talking to my dad and he asked, have you been walking through a lot of pine straw? I'm like, oh yeah, this place is full with ponderosa pines. And uh, he said, well, I know what it is. See, down south, we call them red bugs but the rest of the country calls them chiggers and they're tiny little bugs you can barely see with your eye like a red speck and that's what it was and usually they kind of get you know like in your waistband or around tight fitting clothes but all of my bites are between my knees and my ankles he said oh they don't care they'll get anywhere they can get he said when he was growing up he was always told not to play in a large pile of pine straw because that's where they live and uh, he said you know they get under your skin and they kind of burrow in and you don't feel them for the first day or so and then you'll get the bite mark show up and they'll live for about a week or so before they eventually die but he said what I should have done was to go to the store and buy a little bottle of clear nail polish and put a dab on each bite and that would kill them in just a day or two. Well now I know. So if you see me walking around with a bottle of nail polish, <laughs> it's not because I want to paint my nails, it's because I want to kill off the chiggers. So from now on I'll be avoiding large piles of pine straw <laughs> there she is again I see you you're not hiding look at her thought she was hiding behind that little tree uh, I don't know if you know it but you're kinda large you cannot hide behind one tree <laughs> yeah so uh, I just came back to this site because I knew there was great cell signal here and it was easy to get the video up but I don't plan to stay here but tonight here comes camper watch out for the cows crossing the road that's the second one I've seen pull in you know it's funny it's Monday and you usually just don't see many people in the forest on Monday Tuesday and Wednesday look at baby over here Baby got thirsty. Baby needs a drink. There's another young one right beside there, but I don't think that's hers. They don't have two at the time. But it's, its mother must be around here somewhere, but 
Uh, this one may have more milk. <laughs> Maybe that's why it's hanging around mama here. Yeah, I don't think cows have two calves at the time. Yeah, I've never seen or heard of that. If that's the case, fill me in on it because that's new to me. And that one standing behind her there it seems like it's a little larger. See, it's the simple things in life. This is pretty much the highlight of my day. <laughs> you know, when it's hot like this, you just sit around and watch the cows go by. <laughs> my goodness. But I am really glad to know about what bugs to look out for now. I always thought that the chiggers would be in like heavy bushes. And there's really not any here. You know, the forest floor is pretty clear. But no, it's the thick pine straw. So now, as I'm walking around, I'm walking through the thin parts of the pine straw where it's not like packed down from like many seasons of pine needles dropping on the ground trying to stay in the dirt more but he said that if I spray that repellent on just look at the can that it comes in and see if it repels chiggers or not and this is supposed to so I gotta spray it on before you know I get out walking through the woods there they go moseying on over see that's the campsite I was at last time right where they're going up the driveway over there up this way I saw a ADOT truck Arizona Department of Transportation they're doing some road work and I guess he was just over here having lunch speaking of lunch I could eat so I think I'll go back to the van make a snack thanks for stopping by Take care, be well, and smash the bell.